Understanding the difference between cost codes and GL accounts is important when setting up your new company in Sage 100. As you can see on the two reports here, we use cost codes for projects to assist in determining where costs are being spent. The cost codes are set up based on the various activities and tasks on the project. In comparison, the second report gives us a financial picture of where the company is at. All direct expenses relate to all project costs, but as you can see, the GL accounts are pretty basic, such as material, equipment, subcontracting, etc. From a company financial point of view, we really don't need to see the details of where we spent our direct or project costs. We can turn to a job report to give us that information. Therefore, we recommend that you aim to keep the GL direct expense account simple as shown on this report. Now let's demonstrate how costs are posted and where the link between GL and jobs comes into play. When you post an expense to a job, whether it's through an AP invoice, payroll, or direct GL entry, you will always choose a job and a cost code associated to the job and a cost type. Cost types are a simple way to also view where you're spending costs based on material, labor, subcontracting, etc. When you're posting the expense, you will also choose a GL direct expense account. So you can see in this case, we can post the expense anywhere we like on the job as long as it's hitting one of the direct expense accounts. So in summary, keep your financial GL account simple. GL will provide financial information to the owners based on how well the company is doing. And for further details on how well the projects are doing, view the job reports instead.